Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? I want to start this video off by saying thank you so much for watching my Galaxy Note 9 review. Now, if you haven't viewed it yet, you can watch it using the link that is in the card appearing above or in the description down below. Now, the response to this video was really positive, and I can't thank you enough for that. I've been wanting to change the review style for a long, long time now, and it's great to see that it was met with such positivity. Thank you for your encouragement to keep it going, and I do plan on doing so for plenty of phones going forward. But one thing that I did say I was going to do was take your suggestions of users that I did not cover in that video, take a screenshot, put it on social media, and also put it on the community tab. But the responses were so good that I decided why not extend the review a little bit and personify some of these fun users that you'd suggested. Now, one type of user that was supposed to be super obvious is the artist, but I have to give you a full disclosure. The reason why I did not uh, show the artistry of the S Pen in the Note 9 is because I myself am a terrible artist. I would not be able to get into Samsung note and be able to do a lot of really nice looking drawings maybe stick figures or maybe just some like shapes or something like that so i wouldn't really be able to give it much justice however in samsung note i can show off that there are a number of different tools that are available different brush sizes and types uh, even different types of writing utensils that are virtualized onto the canvas of samsung notes one comment in particular took this to the next level and said that this phone could be for the calligraphy learner another one said that the s pen would be great for the autograph hunter especially one living in los angeles you never know you might bump into a celebrity and not have pen and paper on hand. As someone who lives in Los Angeles, I do think that sometimes I'll run into people that are famous, and that's true. I could just take the S Pen out, I could just get signatures from famous people, or maybe if you have a Note 9 yourself and you want my signature, this is what you're going to get. Not trying to say I'm famous or nothing, I'm just, you know, showing the example. Another type of user that came up a few times that is a slight pivot from the artist is what I call the designer. I got a number of comments from people who were electronics engineers, engineers in general, maybe architects, who were able to use not only the S Pen for drawing up their schematics and making quick sketches of things that they want to design and develop, but they are also able to use the S Pen for precision pointing in apps like AutoCAD. That's right, I know what AutoCAD is. I used to date an engineer. Uh, let's not talk about that right now though. Moving away from the drawing and the writing, we go to the opposite end of the spectrum and talk about the reader. The Note 9 has a very large screen, and that is great usually for people who want to see things a little bit easier. Now, this might seem obvious for the type of user that might be more elderly. However, there are some extra functions in the S Pen that even help further. Take for example the fact that the S Pen can be used as a mouse of sorts, but when you hover the S Pen over many different elements of the operating system, it will zoom in and blow just that up so you don't have to blow everything else up on the screen. There's even a magnifier that is built into the Air Command menu, so you can even use that if you're just having some trouble seeing the finer points of what you're looking at. The Audio Junkie one thing that people enjoy about Samsung devices lately is that they still have the headphone jack. This 3.5mm jack still provides some great sound, and even if the DAC that is included in all of these phones may not be as powerful as the quad DAC in LG phones, that doesn't mean it doesn't sound awesome. But there are also a lot of options to tweak the sound that have been available in many a Samsung device. In the settings, you can easily find the Dolby Atmos enhancements and also the Sound Alive Equalizer if you want to get a little bit more granular with your settings. And if you don't want to go through too many different settings, you can always just have the sound adapt to your listening style. I actually have a small story as to why these settings show that the phone is great for audio junkies. This is a pair of earphones that I'm currently reviewing and these are called the Firo XS2. They're not the newest earphones, but I was very intrigued by them because they have one particular feature that I was really wanting to test out solid waterproofing. But before I get too far into these earphones, what I wanted to state about them is that the EQ on them, the built-in EQ, seems to be fairly flat, which in and of itself is not a bad thing, it's just that the sound doesn't necessarily blow you away right out of the box. What I ended up doing was going into the sound quality and effects of the settings and turning on Dolby Atmos and it made all of the difference. So some credit goes to the Galaxy Note 9 for even having these settings available so I can get some better sound out of a pair of earphones that I mainly would be using in the shower. If you are an audiophile though and you take your audio to the next level, then maybe you are also a bit of a hoarder. And by that I mean for the users who actually use up all of the space. And that includes videos, pictures, and lossless audio. There's a version of this phone that comes with 512 gigabytes of onboard storage and then you can add yet another 500 gigabytes to there using a micro SD card. So you could basically get a whopping one terabyte worth of storage in the Galaxy Note 9. And finally, I thought it was pretty much implied as a user for this phone when I said it was for anyone, but also when you take the entirety of my review and put it all together, clearly this phone is for the power user as well. 
I said it in my review and I'll say it again. This is what a $1,000 phone looks like when it is able to do everything that you throw at it. Now, there are some quirks in a number of the places and I did try my best to highlight those, but if you are happy with the package that the Note 9 has, then perhaps you could be a long-term user. One commenter stated that they are one of those people that can see improvements for hardware and software have slowed down in recent years. And he's hoping to use this phone for three plus years, especially with that eight gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of onboard storage configuration. And you know what, I actually haven't noticed any slowdown so far, despite the number of days that I've been using the phone as my daily driver. I even plug it in for Android Auto all the time and I don't see any slowdown there. I play plenty of games and I watch a lot of media on here and I don't see any differences in speed. And there's one more user I wanted to highlight that would go into the who is this phone not for? The hater. I love that this was in the comment sections. After all, I'm Mr. Positivity when it comes to technology. I think we're in a wonderful place when it comes to tech. So why not think that everything is amazing? But there are people out there who just don't like Samsung and there are a lot of things they may not like about this phone. Man, this phone's so big, like I can't even use, like I can't even get to the top without all these hands. I gotta get a pop socket for this thing. The last time I used a Note, I lost the S Pen, so there was just a hole on the bottom. I didn't even care. Why would I use that? It's not stock Android. You know what, maybe this one would be better called Devil's Advocate, but there are a lot of people out there who just don't like what Samsung puts out, and that is a perfectly valid type of user that could be in the not section. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much again for watching both my review and this video where I kind of tried to have some fun with more of the different users that you suggested in the comments section. Uh, let me know what you think of this video. Get into the comments sections again down below so we can have a discussion on the Note 9, a continued discussion, and then look forward to all of my content coming uh, in the coming days as there are a lot of announcements coming, a lot of things that I'm going to be covering. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll remind you as always to enjoy your tea, everybody.